ever try to think of the biggest number in the world? The biggest number in the world? You can't do it because you can always add one more to that number and then that is the new biggest number because numbers are infinite. They go on and on. And God is also infinite. You know, we have all the words in the English language, but even with all those words and all the words in all the languages of the whole world, we really can't describe God because God is infinite. And some of the words that we use to describe God actually make God kind of small, almost like we put God into this little box. And one of those words that we use is he. You see, God is not a he. God is not a gender. So when I was growing up, because I heard the word he when I thought of God, I thought of God as this man with this long flowing beard sitting on a throne in heaven. And I had a certain idea of who I thought God was because of that word he. Now, Jesus did come into the world as a boy. He was a baby boy, and he grew into a man. And when Jesus referred to God, Jesus said, Father. So I've come to understand for me that the importance in that word is not the fact that that term is male. It's the fact that that term refers to a relationship between Jesus and God. So your mother and father brought you into the world. They're your parents, and God brought Jesus into the wor world, so God is Jesus' parent, and that relationship is really important. So about a year ago, I stopped using the word he when I talked about God, and that's right when Pastor Uda came to us. I was in worship, and every week we say the Lord's Prayer during worship, and in that prayer it says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And, you know, I was listening. Pastor Ruta leads that prayer, and I thought that she might have prayed that prayer a little bit differently than I pray the prayer. So we have a meeting each week called the staff meetings for all the people that work here at the church. And during that meeting, we also say the Lord's Prayer. So I was listening pretty closely the next week, and I heard it. It was different. When Pastor Uta prays that prayer, she says, Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Pastor Uta expanded the way that I think about God. She took God out of the little box that I had God in. And what I really liked about it was I liked that Pastor Uta tweaked that prayer so that she could say it in a way that she was saying things that she believed in. So that prayer says, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Who art in heaven? God is not doing art in heaven. The art means is, who is in heaven. Now, God is in heaven, that's true, but God's also right here, and God's also in each of you, and God's in the trees, and the wind, and the sea, and the earth. So that didn't really sit right for me anymore. So now when I pray the Lord's Prayer, I say, Our Creator, here and everywhere, hallowed be thy name. And that's just right for me. So we're going to say that prayer later on in the service, and if you're upstairs, I want you to think about what feels right for you. Because God is not small. God is big, bigger than anything that we can imagine. There really aren't enough words to describe how amazing God is. So we need to take the small out of our God and not use words that are confining. Pray with me. O oh, loving, compassionate, all-knowing, merciful, forgiving, gracious, benevolent God, how great thou art. Amen.